In their Week 13 matchup, Frank Reich's Colts took on the Houston Texans in one of the weirder games in an already weird season. It was the first game in NFL history where both teams scored 20 plus points in the first half and combined for fewer than 3 points in the second. However, the strange scoring and, frankly, perplexing second half of football isn't the reason we've chosen this game for a breakdown. The reason we chose this game is Frank Reich's use of one of our channel's favorite concepts, mesh. Against the Texans' defense, the Colts managed three touchdowns, two of which came through the air, both on mesh concepts. A traditional mesh concept involves two offensive skill players running crossing routes from opposite sides of the field. Their routes intersect at around six yards from the line of scrimmage, with one player running underneath and one over the top. Players are taught to get close enough that they can reach out and high five. Against man coverage, the underneath player will aim his route as close to the over route as possible, and the over player will attempt to force the chasing defender to adjust his path, creating a natural pick, or mesh. If the receivers recognize the zone scheme by the defense, they'll each find an open window and throttle down to sit in the gap created by the zone coverage. As simple as this sounds, it requires a surgical level of execution, and if you want to be on Frank Reich's offense, you have to be perfect. The first touchdown came on T.Y. Hilton's 21-yard catch and run. The Colts are in a 3x1 formation. At the top, inside out, are Trey Burton, Michael Pittman Jr., and Zach Paschal. T.Y. is on his own on the single side. Trey Burton and T.Y. run the mesh concept. Michael Pittman runs a deep cross. Zach Paschal runs a post corner. I want you to pay attention to the two highlighted mesh routes. The key aspect of these plays is the mesh. The point at which the two crossing receivers intersect each other. Noticing they're facing man coverage, Burton knows there's a good chance that the underneath route is going to get the ball. Watch the way he adjusts his route to create a pick without making contact. That's the crucial part. If Burton just runs through the man, this is offensive pass interference, dead play, minus 10 yards. He makes himself big, stuttering his route to create as much traffic as possible, causing just a slight hesitation, helping give T.Y. an extra step. Hilton's defender loses him in traffic, and all Phil Rivers has to do is hit an open crosser in stride for an easy touchdown. Light work. The second play is a prime example of why I love Mesh and the variations you can go within it. In the second quarter, 4th and 4 from Houston's 39. This time coming out in a 2x2 two two formation, the Colts dial up the same concept but with an added wrinkle. Instead of the Mesh coming from our ISO receiver and tight bunch receiver, we're going to see the crossers from both the slot guys. The two outside receivers are going to run deep comebacks towards the middle of the field, drawing the man coverage in. The threat of the big play from the mesh, coupled with a questionable decision or busted coverage, leaving the running back uncovered, causing the opening here. The Texans look like they're in a cover one robber, but send a five-man pressure, which allows them to have three guys playing the two crossers, but leaving the running back unaccounted for, and keep your eye on him. As opposed to having him on a check release, which they had previously done, they release him straight away on a wheel route. With so much action happening in a confined area, and the knowledge in the back of the defense's head that they've already been burned on a mesh concept, they commit three guys to the middle of the field, leaving Jonathan Taylor wide open on a wheel route. Rivers sees this immediately, and makes an easy toss to the rookie. Taylor displays a nice burst of speed and outruns the safety to the end zone. Let's run it back though. It's noticeable that even if Taylor had been covered, due to the traffic in the middle, there was still a window to hit the underneath route on the mesh read. And if the robber zone had been covering Taylor, he also would have had to fight through the traffic just to get to him. The idea is the play creates multiple options and you trust your quarterback to find the best one. In both instances, Rivers hits it out of the park. Listening to Naheem Hines talk about the success the Colts had with mesh plays, he said, I think we just have a lot of success of it because of the detail. Uh, you know, uh, Coach Frank and Coach Nick are really big on our route disciplines and the detail of the routes. And uh, in football, that's what really wins games. It's not, you know, the players, so to say, because we're all good, but it's the detail and technique. And uh, that's really why we're great at it, because we just execute the detail and technique of the routes. On Hilton's touchdown, the execution at all levels is flawless. 
Burton causes as much traffic in the middle as he can without getting flagged, and TY runs the route as tightly as he can to get over without impeding himself. On Taylor's touchdown, the threat of the big play they run earlier put the Texans in a bad spot. Not sure why you'd leave the running back uncovered on fourth and short. But what do we know, we're just nerds that like making videos. The film echoes Hines' words, and it's a clear indicator of the level of technical perfection Coach Reich expects from his team. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and let us know in the comments your favorite concept. Maybe we'll get some video ideas.